Hey there. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Welcome to my car in Thermopolis, Wyoming. 450 Questions Friday for May 13th, 2022. Happy Friday the 13th. Sorry, we're shaking you up here. Let's get our camera set so that we can get going here. Maybe. Hmm. All right, so I'm traveling. Got 40 of these 44 inch rings. It's been an intense drive. Um, these are going to Idaho for a orchard. So anyway, these are all the, the new, new energy. Pretty intense here today. So I'm meeting my person here in Wyoming, halfway across. I know we might start selling these 44 inch rings there or something, but obviously shipping's an issue. Um, it was going to cost more to uh, send these, freight them, and send them out than it would to uh, just drive them. Okay. Well, good morning, everybody. So let's see. We don't have any questions over here on the questions tab side. So if you do have questions and you're here live, please drop them over here on the questions tab. And as always, if you are joining us live, please do jump into the chat and drop questions. And otherwise, um, if you're watching on YouTube or after the fact, you're always welcome to join us live by going to twistedsage.com and signing up for the newsletter. So anyway, um, yeah, I left my daughter at the hotel. She's sleeping. So I'll give you a look at the beautiful hot springs. So these are purported to be, oh, it's pretty whited out. Darn it, you can't see it. Those are purported to be the largest mineral hot springs in the world here in Thermopolis. Okay. So, again, apologies for jostling you around and everything here today. All right. So, um, I'll jump over here to the questions tab. Uh, let's see. So, Fernando's asking about the Ascension Pyramid and if it holds the new energies that are coming in. And, yes. So, the Ascension Pyramids um, are capable of holding all the energies uh just because of all the geometries there and that structure itself so as we are adding new things to the all the templates it's our intention that's going into the pyramids too the the newest energies are still being formulated and coming together um you know i know we were talking about finding a way to release um soul aspects that are giving us problems and we're still working on that one um, to find the formula to help release soul aspects because it's been <laughs> it's been rough for a lot of people. All right, are there any of the tensor tools being updated to the new energies? Um, so, and that was a question from Nathan. So, actually, right now, what we have in the new energies, I actually put onto the website the other night. Um, when you go to twistedsage.com and then you go to the online store, there's categories that come up there like EMF protection, sacred geometry, tensor rings, water tools. One of those categories is um, new, new energy. And so when you click under one of those categories of new energy, it'll bring up the products uh, that we have added this new energetics into. Now, we will still be creating all of the older tools for, for a while for the foreseeable future. We're still going to be creating everything as we have been, but everything new that comes out, a new ring, a new generator, Gaia sphere, whatever it is, is totally going to be in this new energy. You know, um, we'll have these new silver pendants here at some point in time. Oh my goodness. We've been waiting on these for a long time. The ones that on one side, they have the TS, the twisted sage and the other side, there's a Metatron's cube. Um, 
these are in the new energy, but they're still, we're getting closer to them. Um, we're still not going to release them until the time is right. And we've been waiting for over a year. So don't get too excited because it's hard to say when this new silver Taurus will be out. It's, it's, it's when it's supposed to be. Um, I, I still almost think that we're waiting for some more energetic shifts to occur before, you know, we fully anchor that pendant in. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Hey, Marin. Um, saw the t-shirts we make with, um, oh, and just a question about making other things such as recyclable messenger bags for the tools and such. Um, yeah, we haven't had the t-shirts up and running for over a year. And it's just another one of the projects that we would like to get up, get going again. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, there, there's a lot to the crystal infused ink t-shirts and we're, we ran across an issue with the software problem here oh, about a year and a half ago almost. And so when they quit um, supporting and making that particular software, we have to buy a $1,200 program and learn how to use it and everything else. And it's, it's quite the, uh, quite the process to make true quality wet on wet multiple colored shirts and in crystal infused ink. So, um, it is something that I can't tackle at the moment, but, um, we may open that up again because we really need those t-shirts, the crystal infused ink t-shirts. And as far as making other things, you know, if, if we end up having that as a full time operation, then we would totally consider, you know, stepping into other things. We have a lot of irons on the fire, twisted sage. Um, let's see. Tom, Tell me more about the 44 inch rings. We'll be in Deadwood next weekend. No, we did. Uh, so asking if we have these 44 inch rings available. No, we don't. Um, they're not something that we readily make. And we just got done making a run of 40 of them plus a run of seven of them for the Ascension chambers that our friend uh, Bill creates in Poland and in Chicago. So that's where we originally making those rings for was for those Ascension chambers. Um, but we really felt these 44 inch rings for orchards was going to be just phenomenal because these are the rings that are basically, um, they, they contain the energetics that allows the morphogenic field of the plant, the consciousness of the plant to pattern energy into this physical reality. And again, it's what we were seeing. The plants were then able to pull nutrients from the soil that was not available before. So they're, you know, they're re they're creating their environment. They are powerful creators, just as we all are. Um, so these rings are just allowing them to to repattern energy um, into their creation, just like these rings do for all of us in these new energies from the wisdom on. Uh, Nika, do the pyramids create a toroidal field? Can we imagine one large enough to encompass the earth and anchor that to benefit us all? So um, the, there is a toroidal field within the pyramids, and that is the torus. Um, so the torus is one of the integral parts of the pyramid, which does create that tube torus. Um, and oh my gosh, as far as, you know, making a giant pyramid around the world, um, I still feel like when we want to change the world, we always want to focus on the world to change it. When in reality, we need to step inside first, become at peace, self-love, all the fun stuff. But when we can step within ourselves in that peaceful way, bringing in our entire light, we then change the world. So, Start with that, imagining that impure, that pyramid in that space being around you and become fully all that you are. Then at that time, that is where we're making the true changes on the earth. Because when we step in from the human perspective to change the world, 
we're going to change it to how we see it from our limited perspectives, our limited creations that we always have. And these creations are from here out of fear, necessity, survival, um, you know, wanting to change the world because we're perceiving it as not being perfect and divine the way it is. So the more that we can go into the heart space and the more that we can step fully into ourselves and in alignment with our light, the more it looks different. And the more you just know, you know from the heart that everything is flowing so perfectly and divine that there really is not a thing that we could change because it is so divinely perfect. So that's where that's where I would try to support everybody into going there, going into the internal, being all that you can be, and the world changes around you because we are such powerful creators. It's just it's just part of the whole new paradigm of the way of doing the work and of trusting that all is truly well in all of creation. Uh, which tools do you suggest for protection or warding off the spike proteins? Um, so it's it's interesting that, uh, gosh, what was it? It was the alchemist Taurus that somebody was mentioning the other day that they were watching the spike proteins and how it was just, it was changing them. Uh, it comes into that toroidal field of the alchemist Taurus and it changes them. Um, but, you know, I totally feel that any of the alchemist, the wisdom, or any of the new tools that we have listed under the new energy, the alchemist set together, or the wisdom, or any of the new tools are doing some pretty amazing, amazing things. Um, you know, it all started with that chalice energy, how it comes in and it uncreates creation. And so when you're in these fields and you just, you know, you trust and you surrender, um, knowing that basically, so when you're using, when you're using these tools, you know, you don't go in with, um, you know, any kind of fear and like, okay, I got to change these spike proteins cause they're, I'm scared of them and what they're going to do for all the creation, whatever step into it in the heart space and holding that field so you can even use a wisdom wand whatever it is you're just simply being in that space in that field and then you are sending that out and holding that person that spike protein that whatever it is basically you are sending your light to it in a true way this isn't just the old uh oh let's send it love and light no, this is this is not the old fluffy bunny wanting to do things stuff. This is really truly where we've been waiting for and is one of the most powerful things in all of creation is your light, your consciousness. And so when we step into the heart and we simply use our light or you can use a tool, you can imagine using a ring, you know, and having a person in that ring or a wand whatever it is, but truly your light is the most powerful thing in all of creation. These are just space holders for you to do the work. But anyway, so spike proteins, using any of the newer tools or your light simply um, with them and just letting them go and allowing. It's a whole new paradigm. <laughs> it really is. That's a tough one with the tools because I know so many of us want to jump in and do, and that is still perfectly fine. Um, you know, cause as we teach classes where, you know, I'm still teaching people how to do things in the older way, which is intention, visualization, and imagination. And so if you can imagine that spike protein, um, and you're in the heart space, you're imagining and visualizing, um, you know, your intention is to visualize it to, um, turn into something new, alchemize or harmonize um, or dissolve. So whatever it is, you just hold that space and then you're the witness for it. So when we're doing things in the old way, we would be the witness for it. And we would just simply witness what occurs with that energy. And that was really a great way to do things. And maybe it is still a way that people need to step in 
uh, because then they actually know that their consciousness is making a change when they can sit there and witness something taking place. So again, um, to do to do energy work with the tools and with consciousness is going into the heart space, imagination, visualization, intention. While you're in the heart, we'll move mountains. That's how when my sister have a rib bat when i have a rib out of place i text my sister that is traditionally how she would do the work was she could see that the rib is out of place she would be in her heart space she would visualize and imagine that rib just going back into place ta-da it happens it happens in real time that's the old paradigm of doing So we're stepping in. So you can still do that, you know, like with with anything that you're working on, your um, the spike proteins, is you can be the witness for those harmonizing or dissolving. Uh, The other way that I was speaking of, just sending the light and stepping into that trust, that surrender, that knowing space. That's truly where we want to be, but that's really a tough paradigm shift from doing to surrendering. But even though... The more we step into that surrender, wow, the less limitations we have. Um, Let's see, Fernando, any of the new energy tools coming in silver? Oh my goodness, check this out, you guys. I forgot to be, I forgot to wear my silver halo this morning. Oh man, I love the silver halo. So this is actually in sterling so it's springy so we are we're waiting on wire to get here which will be here monday and then we'll start twisting up these halos in a solid silver Uh, we're making the silver infinities for them right now mary is as we speak so we will have the silver halos and the silver halo with infinity um and hopefully by the end of next week they'll be ready they are to me they're the copper ones are just a little intense, um, but I'm pretty sensitive, especially around the head with energies. And um, the silver ones, oh man, I can wear the silver one all day and it just feels good. You can still feel that that higher energy, but it's not so intense right here on the physical for me. I can put a copper one on for like 30 seconds and I'll still feel it an hour later, you know. So I the, the silver to me is perfect. Um, but yeah, we will totally begin to make more and more of these tools in this new energy because um, truly I feel like we have reached a plateau even though this new energy is is so much, we're only bringing in pieces of it right now, but we're making the tools and as more pieces of this bigger complex new energy comes in, um, then these tools that we're creating right now and in the future in this new energy, as we're just calling it for now, will contain everything. So, I mean, really, I feel this is a plateau point for the tools in this energetics in that we're not going to be shifting into some cool new named ring or anything like that. I really feel that as these as the newer components of this energetic comes in, it's going to be the same ring. It's just going to be more and more within there. So that's too while we're not putting a name to this thing yet. It's because we really don't know what it's doing because it's not complete truly. And once it is, it's going to be the name of the tool for forever. So um, will the new pendant be an upgrade on the divine i am activator pendant um so the divine i yeah so the question are the questions are basically about what tools we will upgrade into the new energy and we really don't know yet um but i'm going to assume that anything with the alchemist divine i am chalice harmonizer any of the newer tools since the chalice energy Um, I have a feeling that all of those will eventually be brought into this new energy. And then that would include all the ones that are made. But for now, we're not, we're not getting hasty on switching up energetics yet. Excuse me, because we, we, 
you know, we still don't know if people are going to, you know, need a divine I am ring versus just going into the new energy. I don't think so, but um, what is the best tensor tool in your opinion to assist with channeling? Um, you know, I would say what comes to mind for, for one of the better tools for channeling would be the, oh my goodness, look at my wonderful silver. I stepped into some hot springs in the middle of the night and forgot to take my silver off. It gets really a kind of a cool purple patina in these here mineral springs. But what I would suggest for channeling uh, and just for that clear communication, I, I feel what pops up is this, um, this wisdom wand pendant or the wisdom wand, um, you know, or the silver wisdom wand, just any of the wisdom wands or wisdom wand pendants is what I feel opens up the best channel of communication. Um, so that's what I would recommend for channeling. Um, let's see, is there a suggested time limit using the new halo? And then Maren mentions that she wears the 24 seven. Um, so, no, you know, it's not going to do any harm if you wear the halo 24 seven. Um, but your body will tell you, um, just, just be open now. You know, if you're not sensitive, totally just go ahead and wear the halo 24 seven, especially if you're not energetically sensitive. You know, the only time that I would say not to wear the halo is if you do become energetically sensitive or if you are, and, and it just starts to be um, a distraction or, um, you know, where it bothers you, then I would say, just take it off. But it, until then, it's not going to be any harm, you know, versus a distraction or bothersome. Or you might, you know, in distraction as in you might feel like your head's grown five times its size or it's too open or whatever it is at the time. Um, because it's going to be individual for every person and how they perceive it and what it's doing with them. So anyway, um, yeah, you can never get too much of any of the tensor tools, but again, just ask your body. Um, we, we teach in, um, the workshops to do muscle testing, which is to the, the simple way to ask your body questions is to stand up. So you're standing here. Um, and you're standing here and let's say your sternum is right about here and you stand there in your heart space, you're straight up and down. You would hold something like the halo up to your sternum here. And if your body leans forward, then you're attracted to it. And that's a yes for something. So if you hold it up there and your body leans back, your body's repelled by it when you're holding it up to the sternum. That means your body's just saying no to that particular tool or whatever it is that you're asking your body if it would like this, if it's beneficial to it. And you don't even have to use those words because your body knows what you're asking. Again, you don't have to, a lot of the stuff, you, it's better not to be specific. Um, so yeah, just hold that up, intention asking your body, and it will tell you. So that's another way to find out for sure if... Um, you know, if your body wants that tool for the day. Yeah, again, apologies for <laughs> the the space we're in here. Um, Luminosity Halo, Marin, I like that name. Anika, I have an icy hot like biofreeze sensation come up and over me lately. I almost wear the Wisdom Wand pendant in the Chalice Hecka class, almost always wear it. Can you feel into what might be, and are those tools part of this? <clears throat> yeah, I was feeling that too with you, and I'm not sure what that is. Um, to me, it's almost, you know, and it, it does feel like it brings a little bit of anxiety to the body. Um, there are so many things shifting with us right now, and I feel that's what it is. It's just, it's just another layer and level. I mean, I, I get waves of anxiety that flow over me and physical anxiety in the body. And I can, you know, I feel it's happening on some level and layer out here in my multidimensional self. Oh, freak, freak. <laughs> Dang it. Um, 
but apologies, pardon me for just a moment. I had a little accident I'd like to clean up. Um, crap, where were we at? Okay, so that feeling that you that you were having, I really feel is your body or your multidimensional self just going through the stuff. Um, just be easy, be gentle, do what you need to do. For me, it's taking hot Epsom salt baths, um, going into nature, just stopping and breathing. You know, we're all going through so many shifts and changes right now, especially if you are right here, you're into the consciousness work, you're, you've already said, yes, let's do this, you know, to the soul, to the universe, and things are moving and flowing. So um, just trust right now, you guys, we just have to trust that there's nothing detrimental happening to us and that there will not be anything detrimental coming in happening to us trust that all that occurs no matter how crazy and wild and even painful it can be that it is all happening for us and not to us um so when those things occur that that icy hot feeling whatever things occur just take a deep breath and know that things are happening beneficially for you things cannot help but to be truly beneficial every little thing that happens to us right now. We are in such an amazing, amazing new space. And this is one of the things that's so amazing about it. So um, let's see, Bryson, <clears throat> would it be possible to text reminder of 50 questions to make it live and only make it live once a month? I'm just going email gets lost in pandora's box so um you know the 50 questions friday i have considering not doing it every week because anymore it's just more me talking about consciousness work than it is in updates than it is really about asking a lot of questions about the tools um we don't do a text thing because that the uh, live storm platform that we're on that's not a option for text messaging um but we would like to, you know, continue to make this beneficial, you know, as, as most beneficial as we can for everybody. Um, so I'm not sure where we're going to go right now with 50 questions Friday for now. We're just going to be doing it the same that we are. But um, I would certainly put in a request to this LiveStorm app. And maybe they are thinking about um, bringing out the SMS messenger stuff. Uh, let's see. And Tom's asking a little bit more about this new energy, what it means. Um, so basically, the, this new energy is something that, um, well, in the beginning, it's always been about the Trinity breath. It's been about connecting the human from the heart, from the sacred space of the heart, to the heart of the earth, and to the heart of creation. That's what this whole journey is, is truly been about with the human, with my sister, with me, with the tools, is that it is about connecting the heart of the human to the heart of the earth and to the heart of creation. That's what the Trinity breath has been. That's what the, the fields and all these tools have always been about, is connecting you more to your higher self, your soul, and to the earth and bringing you from the head into the sacred space of the heart that in itself shifts everything. It shifts consciousness. Things are released. Healing is nothing more than releasing and rebalancing. And that's also what this field does of being grounded and connected as a column of light that you are, because then you are grounded and supported and you stay in the heart. So truly this new energy is nothing new. It is simply a more tangible field a more tangible space of that deep connection with the heart of the earth and that uh, i don't know why superior comes in i don't like to use the word superior but that that connection with the soul um the connection with the soul that is so big because as we've taken these giant steps and we feel these giant steps in connecting with the soul. I mean, 
we've gone through gosh i think there's uh the actually on the website even on the online store i think there's still the cosmic awakening activation which was done like four years ago down in sedona and that's a free little meditation thing that has the merkaba and everything but in that one we did a thing with the soul where we saw the soul as all these particles of light and we we broke open this container and brought in all these particles of light I mean, so every time we make this giant step in understanding and consciousness, it has to do with more of a connection with what we are as a soul. And so this new energy is simply that deeper connection with the earth and that greater, more expansive, higher, deeper connection with soul. And so as these fields are not quite, I feel complete, it's because as they come in, they're going to complete this whole field flow of connection to the soul and to the earth that, that is just going to be able to, you know, bring in all of your soul aspects, do the true healing, releasing, harmonizing, integrating all of it. Um, and to be able to to allow any person in humanity or beyond to step into this field and for everything to occur without all the the pain and the traumas you know getting there of of the integrating the releasing the the taking all of your traumas and turn them into wisdom all the stuff um anyway so yeah that's really what this new energy is about is about everything that we have that's been at the core of twisted sage and the core of you know just being here really i feel um nancy does this one half inch silver wand have the new energies and how much does it cost i know oh gosh those silver wands i think are 59 i believe um so the the mini we have a silver wisdom wand the larger one not very pretty because it has gone in the um, hot springs here, the mineral springs. But the smaller pendant one um, in the silver on silver, it's one of the more, most, I would suggest if you were going to buy any one single tool that this silver mini wand pendant is the one, it's pretty phenomenal um, as just a space holder to be wore passively. And of course you can use it actively, but for me, it's just to use it passively. Um, and no, it does not have the new energies. Um, there's only a very few tools that have the new, new energies. Um, and again, on the website, when you go there to the online store, there is a category of new energies there underneath of like EMF protection, pendants, tensor rings, all of that, those categories. That's where you'll find that category of new energy. And as we release new tools, they will go there so that you can find them. Um, so we have very few right now um, in that new, new energy. Uh, Marin. <laughs> You're looking like a Christmas tree with all the lovely tools. <laughs> oh, and, and you say you might want to take it down a notch. Not at all. Gosh, no. That's beautiful. Um, Laura, my daughter's going through a heartbreak and she's feeling depressed. Which tool can help her? You know, any of the pendants. Um, again, I really like the the wisdom wand pendant. To me, it's one of the more more beneficial powerful potent pieces um and and it's something that it's not really too much for anybody no matter where they're at the wisdom wand pendants really are a fantastic one so you know because the depression depression can come from so many things but you know a lot of depression is you not being on your path and um you know it's just one of those spiritual two by fours and so, you know, basically any of the tools are going to help her step more into alignment with herself. Um, and she doesn't have to believe in it or anything like that. And of course, the more you do work these things and consciously with intention and belief and all that, the more it works because we are such powerful beings. But really, 
these tools are designed to be able to just passively wear them without the belief structures and they can still help it very much so um let's see a uh, question about um marin uh, did a session with brenda yesterday uh flu symptoms still full on physically under the weather yeah you know you just totally and you you nailed it right there marin you just totally need to give it more time um you can ask the body to harmonize um you know basically you know right now we do need to listen to our bodies so much because so much is going on through all these changes i mean it is so profound and deep the way that we are changing as a multi multi-dimensional human being and being period so beyond the human um that we do need to listen to our body drink a lot of water rest all of it um and yeah having a session with brenda or any of these big sessions that we have whether we're at the tools another person wherever these bigger sessions that are so deep in this multi-dimensional layer and level we knew we do need to just allow those things to to come into harmony um because we're dealing with so many different levels and layers of frequency um and our body is really affected by it so yeah just take it easy on yourself that's totally what yeah, all we can really do right now is take it easy with ourselves all right so gosh sorry about my camera here you guys thank you for being here with me today and your patience um just jumping over here to check to see what's going on on chat side it looks like we we're done with questions um really curious gosh we got people from all over thank you all for being here today um i believe that uh oh yeah by the way the new newest energy is in the one and a half inch wisdom ring pendant so we have that new energy which is you know we talked about and in, in some of the rings and the alchemist taurus and things but we found another second component so the first component of that new new energy was that central sun of creation which is you the human in the here now moment and that heart of the earth so that energetic component was is that new energy right now we also saw something very similar being birth from twisted sage the core of twisted sage was very similar in that it looked like the star that came up out of the earth birth out of earth and out of creation is this white golden star and that is the core of twisted sage and so we took that star that light and we took that other new energy and we brought them together and that's what it it created something more than what we had before so this new newest energy is in the one and a half inch wisdom ring pendant which we have on sale as clearance because we're going to make uh, we want to make a different pendant to offer as a standalone pendant um so we're working on that one but anyway that one that's on sale it's like 30 bucks for the ring it's it's the new newest energy um and so yeah if you want to check out the, the newest newest that's in that one the one and a half inch wisdom ring which thank you marin for mentioning that that you like the energy of that ring because yeah it's pretty amazing um So just looking through the uh, the chat here, and it's it's pretty interesting because uh, somebody here mentioned too that just received the wisdom ring, um, took off all the other tools except for the chalice rings, um, you know, and and that's true. I've I've been doing that too. Is that as these newer energies come in, I just you know I don't even want to wear a regeneration or golden fire, which are phenomenal tools. So it's transformative tools, especially that regeneration. You know, with time, it almost killed me a few times. You know, it's such 
beautiful tools, but I can't even wear them anymore because of these newer tools. So, um, let's see. Let me just check in here. Well, thank you guys all for being here today. It's good to read all the comments. Um, and I hope that the meditation last week was phenomenal. It felt like there was a lot of shifts there. I did get a few feedbacks from that. Um, so, you know, that's that's what I could say about also traversing through the energies right now is to, to go back through some of these meditations all the way from that December 3rd meditation of that zero point space. Um, and just look through the 50 questions Friday because Amber's done such a phenomenal job of going through. She listens to every single word of these and, and breaks it down onto the YouTube page with the, the question and the timestamp. So <clears throat> go back through is what I would suggest since, you know, December and just look through some of these 50 question Fridays for meditations um, and see if there's something in there. Because I, I know that um, what we're going through, these different fields and spaces will, will certainly help. Um, and yeah, just remember, treat yourself gentle and easy and um, be selfish. You know, take care of yourself. You are the powerful creator in this world. And so, um, yeah. Be gentle and easy. It's so beautiful, you guys. It really is. There's amazing things happening. Um, and it looks like we're, well, got a couple more questions here. Um, when are the webinars for new tools coming? They've been on their way for about two years. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm can't remember the last time I did a webinar for the tools. I really need to get back into it. It's just, um, <sighs> there's been a lot of things waiting on me to be able to step in and, and do them like all the meditations for the chambers, the, the webinars, things like that. So I'm getting closer to, to being a fully productive human again. Yeah, we'll see. But, um, yeah, there's there's a lot of things on my plate. I would I really do want to get those webinars going for the tools again. I really really do, and I would om I would rather actually do those tool webinars than the fifty questions Fridays because I feel like they would be a lot more beneficial for people. Um, you know, so most definitely we'll get those tool webinars going again. And because even like the the pyramid ones are old, you know, the practitioner ring ones are old, so. We really need some updating happening. Um, and let's see. Question is the new energy in the silver wisdom one pendant to, and it is not. Um, the new energy is only in, like I say, those ones that are on that new energy page. Now, I I really feel so, but don't don't get disheartened about your wisdom wands yet because I really feel like this new energy, we will, it will come into all of the wisdom tools. Um, you know, I, I really feel it will, but for now we're still just kind of letting things percolate. Um, because like I say, there's still a lot more components coming in, but, um, so I guess uh, the other thing that I would like to say too, if you are having um, issues with some of your soul aspects you feel, which are maybe some of the chatter, some fears, some self-talk stuff, you know, these things can be ego, but for most of us who are stepping more into the heart and are doing the surrender thing, the ego is, is, is stepping right with us as the aspect of us. So if you are experiencing some of these things, um, you know, pains that you don't know where they're coming from, things like that, aspects are really coming in a lot. 
Now, I could certainly share with you um, the Crimson Circle. So the Crimson Circle is just, um, they're out of Colorado, um, Jeffrey Hoppy. He channels Adama St. Germain. Um, you know, I've been following these guys for several years. I quit for a while and came back, but their information resonates with me and they're working with aspects and they have a free monthly webcast. So crimsoncircle.com. If you resonate with it, you might not resonate with it. Um, but they do a free monthly webcast. So this May of 2022, he did a thing called a shout, which is like a meditation. So when you go to the free monthly webcast, you can go to that shout eight, which is this month's in May. And it's pretty amazing. Um, the space that he holds for you to work with your aspects. And so this is one of the components that we're working with to ourselves to put into the tools but there's still more pieces to this, to working with and integrating these aspects that are causing a lot of issues with a lot of people right now. So, um, you know, just for the energy work, if that's something that you want to do to work with the aspects, do check them out. But otherwise, thank you all so much for being here. And I'm going to see if maybe we can get a better look outdoors now at this most wonderful hot springs oh maybe no we're not gonna see it but you know what i can give you guys a quick tour here of these most wonderful rings oh my goodness we were all standing in these things yesterday and it was amazing like i say it's been intense charging some waters in there so anyway um oh yeah another quick announcement i was supposed to be at the um i was scheduled to be in los angeles for summer solstice for the million person meditation we were going to build the ascension stage again the 30 foot tall copper pyramid like we did last year um and I had a headlining position this year, even. I was going to get to be up there with the Leo King. He was a last astrologist that I listened to for many years. I was like, oh, yeah, I get to be with the Leo King on stage, even. And for some reason, we're not going to be at that event in Los Angeles this year. Um, just not meant to align with it. Um, you know, Mary Hardy's with the Knights Templars and supposed to be there at the same time, you know, fighting the 5G and all the stuff. And I can't go there either. Um, you know, we, we are in such a huge transformation right now of, of a whole paradigm. And, you know, this old paradigm of of focusing on the bad and fighting the stuff is not, it is the old paradigm. Um, so anyway, that's my announcement. Won't be in LA. And I'm actually gonna give everybody at the studio a week off in June. And we might go someplace like, I don't know, the Fairy Congress in Oregon or do some big adventurous twisted sage but we'll make the announcements we're going to close the entire shop for a week in june give everybody a week off so um be prepared for that june uh that week of june 20th so like june 16th be kind of our cutoff deadline for a week or so of getting products out because um we're going to be closed so anyway it's exciting Beautiful things. Take care of yourself. Oh my goodness. Enjoy. As we step out of all of the stuff, you know, the only thing left is joy. All right. Take care of you guys and gals and beautiful beings. And we will see you next time. Thanks again for being here.